Hello everybody and welcome to day two of the 21 day greater challenge. Um, for those of you who missed us yesterday, um, go back and catch it. Uh, but I have been challenged myself by God to, for the next 21 days, we are going to commit to doing positive self-talk. We're um, talking about what we believe we have inside of us. I honestly believe, no, I know that at the end of this 21 days, God is going to have us in a place where we're going to be able to walk into, begin to walk into the promises that he has prepared for us. Um, he's prepared them for us, but we have to prepare for them. It's one thing to say that I know God has a lot for me. It's one thing to, to know that we have dreams, but it's not enough to have them. It's not even enough to experience them. We want to be able to possess them. So I am coming to you. What we're going to do, you know, everybody who's watching this may not be a Christian. I feel like the principle still applies that when you have better, when you say better, you can have better. Um, if you're not a Christian, you can still do this thing. I'm rocking the Christian way. And the principles that I bring and the things that I say are a reflection of what I believe. Um, so you will hear me talking about God. You will hear me um, referring to the Bible. If I say something about the word or the book, I'm talking about the Bible. If at any time there is something, whether you're a Christian or not, there's something that you don't understand that I'm talking about, feel free to, to inbox me or whatever. I'll be glad to find the scripture. Because there are a lot of things that I know, um, either just from what I sense or that I know from what I've read in the Word. And if I don't give you the specific scripture and you can't find it and you want me to, to find it for you, I will. Just let me know that. But um, we're going to do 21 days. Now it's 20 days of consistent, positive thoughts and affirmations. We're going to be intentional with what we say. We're going to make it a point to um, actually listen to what we're saying. And if we happen to say something that's negative throughout the course of a day, immediately correct it. Immediately correct it. One of the things that I wanted to um, say to you is, y'all, we know we are good ground. We know we're good ground. Um, we know we're fertile ground because so much of what we had sa have said, it has manifested. Um, if I go around talking about, oh my goodness, and this is one of the things I have to work on. If I go around saying, oh my gosh, I am so tired. I am so tired. I've never gotten energized by saying I was tired. All I did was got, was became even more tired. Okay. So it's things like that. that we're going to have to catch what we're saying and flip that thing. Flip it. As soon as you hear it, pluck it up. As soon as you've said something crazy pluck it up and go with it because I'm gonna tell you there are a lot of things that I have said over the years that have manifested in my life they have manifested um things that people have said about me that I let take root in me and they manifested but I am determined to dig up every negative word that was ever spoken in my life whether it's by someone else or by me I'm gonna dig it up and I am planting like I said, I had I have had a lot of bad produce before. <laughs> I've had a lot of bad harvest. No more. No more. So I know my ground grows stuff. I have become um, a lot of what I've heard. But now I'm changing the narrative. I'm writing this thing. There are some things that I am saying. And just like I saw the negativity, I'm about to see the positivity. I'm about to see this thing shine. So... I encourage you to think it, say it, and then see it. And y'all, during this process, I'm not even necessarily talking about, really, I'm not talking about stuff on the outside of you. I'm talking about you being able to bring out of you and produce the things that God has, who God has said you are. Because um, when we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything else will be added. 
everything else will be added. So we're focusing on pulling out of us the goodness that's in us. And when all of that is on the outside, the material things, all of that will be attracted to us. The people that are assigned to help us with whatever vision or dream we have, they will be attracted to us. But we must make it surface. So we are manifesting. When I talk about manifestation, I'm talking about us manifesting who we are. So this is a greater challenge. And today, um, what I am going to talk about, this is, a, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to put all my thoughts together. But so you may not have the same issues I have, or you may not feel like you need the same things that I need. Maybe where I'm weak, you're strong. But I do want to encourage you to do this. I'm going to present 20 topics because we had day one already. Um, I will present 20 topics over these next 20 days. Um, I'm going to make my declaration, my affirmation. Um, I encourage you check it because sometimes when we talk about a thing, the Lord has dealt with me about this pendulum that swings, this pendulum. And sometimes we're too far this way. Other times we're too far that way. God wants us right here. He wants us right here. So today, for instance, I'm coming against fear. Um, and the topic for today is about being bold and being courageous. So when I think of fear, there may be some people who say, oh, I'm not, I'm not afraid. Well, a lot of times when you're not afraid, you may be too cocky or too prideful. But there is a place right in the middle where we should be okay um so in the bible and and i'm sure you've heard it that at least 365 times in the bible one for every day of the year there is a do not fear or do not be afraid so you might see it as do not fear fear not be not afraid those things appear in the bible like 365 times that is because fear is one of the main things that tries to keep us out of the promise. Fear is the thing that tries to stop us. Fear can paralyze you. But we have to we have to say who we are and what we have. Things like be strong, be bold, be courageous, be of good cheer, let nothing move you, walk in peace. Those are the instructions that God has given. And we can talk about some of the, you can refer to some of the Bible characters who felt like they didn't have what it took to do what God was saying do. Moses felt like he couldn't talk. Uh, Gideon was fearful. Who, me? I'm the least, in the least tribe and least of my clan. Uh, Jeremiah lacked confidence, but over and over and over, God said, be strong, be bold, be courageous. So here is the affirmation for today. I have no fear because God is with me. I am bold. I am courageous. Whatever I face, I am equipped to conquer. I'm going to say it again and repeat after me. I have no fear because God is with me. I am bold. I am courageous. Whatever I face, I am equipped to conquer. So that's it for today. Today, we are talking about boldness and we're talking about being courageous. There's nothing we face that we can't conquer. So, everybody be encouraged. And remember, you got to flutter before you can fly. <laughs>